now being joined over the phone line by MLA from Bhandari constituency, Achumbe Mokikon. First of all, Mr. Kikon, thank you so much for giving us your time this morning. This is an indeed, uh, you know, words fail to describe how tragic this incident is. Six coal miners were charged to death. That is what we're being told. Four others have sustained injuries. Uh, what more can you tell us at this point, Mr. Kikon? Yes, yes. Uh, it may be... Uh, Accident, the incident happened yesterday uh, uh, in the afternoon around 12.30 to 1. Uh, it so happened that the coal mining is a red hole coal mining. And all this uh, coal mining has been going on rampantly, especially in my constituency, under Pandari Assembly constituency. I have been raising this uh, concern with the government as well as to the public as a whole, the danger uh, of this kind of uh, incident. And this is not the first of, uh, you know, first of its kind. There were incidences like this, even in the past. We have been bringing to the notice of the authority, especially the Department of Geology and Mining, that there has to be a proper regulation as far as coal mining is concerned. These are actually all illegal mining. And um, uh, unless the government rectified the system, uh, this will uh, bring more disaster again. We are, I feel sorry for those who have passed away, who have lost their life. Uh, it is confirmed, you are right, that um, six of them were tired of date, four of them uh, seriously injured. They have been taken to the hospital. And therefore, uh, we have to create more awareness, and the government uh, has to take certain steps in uh, allotting the permit, even for uh, mining, if it is so necessary. Otherwise, uh, these kind of incidents keep occurring. And uh, at the end of the day, it is the poor people who suffers. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more with you there, Mr. Kikon. And, you know, it's a very pertinent point that you raise here, you know, given the fact that it is an illegal coal mine. So, you know, there's no point talking about safety protocols here because any sort of safety guidelines or protocols were absolutely flouted, which resulted in such a terrible disaster. Uh, on that note, you know, have you checked on the condition of those who were injured? We've been given to understand that they were taken for treatment at a hospital in the nearby vicinity. So so, you know, any update on their condition? Uh, are they still critical? Are they stable? Anything you can tell us, Mr. Kikon? Well, uh, I'm told they are quite critical. Uh, uh, definitely because the, the coal mining burst out. It, it catches, it caught, it caught fire, no? the red hole uh, coal mining. And therefore, they are seriously injured, I'm informed. I'm here in my constituency headquarters at Bandari to attend the Republic Day. Okay. And therefore, I'm coordinating with the public, uh, the, the village, especially that uh, surrounding. They, it, it happened at Bridge Han Yan. It's uh, part of my constituency. And uh, the the owner of those uh, coal mining, I mean the, the permit holders probably, they have been given some assistance to this injured people to go to the hospital. Uh, but the matter does not end here, no. They, they, there has to be a sudden um, uh, preemptive step also to prevent such things, and also right. uh, proper proper guidelines has to be issued. There, there has to be a scientific way of mining, not uh, uh, not in this way. This is uh, creating a, you know environmental hazard. Uh, it is creating a lot of problems, uh, and uh, in the near future, the whole uh, system will collapse. Absolutely, absolutely. So, Mr. Kikon, uh, my last question to you, you know, uh, as you very rightly mentioned, uh, you said that you will be taking this up uh, with the government in a proper way. So, how exactly are you planning on going about that? And secondly, uh, you know, this obviously calls for a proper probe into the entire incident, you know. Uh, so, how exactly are you planning on approaching the government regarding this matter? Well, uh, I understand the, you know, the entry cases of, uh, the land holding system as far as Nagas are concerned. Government doesn't own land, of course, but uh, you know, the land belongs to an individual, to a family, to the villagers, uh, so on and so forth. So uh, there is uh, a lot of intricacies involved. I, I, I fully understand that aspect. But however, since uh, these are being controlled by the department and the government, there has to be a strengthened regulation if we are to allow for uh, allow uh, you know, coal mining. Because uh, Unless proper streamlining is done, as I stated, this is going to create a lot of uh, an environmental havoc. And but at the same time, you see, the, the survival of the villagers also has to be taken care by the government because 
Right. Some villages, some villages out of no option, they sell all these, uh, you know, uh, precious deposits like coal and some other uh, products, some other deposits under the ground. So government has to come out with certain uh, measures and alternative measures to help understand and help survive the villagers instead of going selling their coal deposits. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mr. Achumbe Mokikon, the MLA from Bhandari constituency, thank you very much once again for joining us on our channel this morning and sharing all those latest details.